One of the problems that exists with these types of uh, air hydraulic jacks is they get air in the hydraulic system and when you lift the load, they will leak down. And today we're going to show the process of how to bleed the air out of these jacks, out of the hydraulic system, on the 104.48, the 104.39, and the 104.46 jacks. They're all going to use the same process. Begin by connecting an air source to the air actuator trigger. Then remove the fill plug from the hydraulic cylinder reservoir. On the 10439 jack, the fill plug is threaded into the reservoir and a 6mm Allen wrench is needed for removal. Turn the release pressurized valve located at the top of the handle to the release position or left. Then activate the air actuator trigger for approximately 15 to 20 seconds. On the 10446 jack, the release pressurized valve is located on the base. Then turn the release pressurized valve to the right completely to begin to pressurize the jack. Activate the air actuator trigger to begin to extend the jack. Continue this until the piston rod reaches maximum stroke. Release the hydraulic pressure until the piston rod retracts completely. The air in the hydraulic side of the jack will begin to dissipate. Air can be heard and felt exiting from the fill plug port. Repeat the extension and retraction step two or three more times to completely purge the air from the hydraulic side of the jack. Install the fill plug back into the port. Remember, service jacks are designed to lift and lower the load only. It is recommended that jack stands of properly rated tonnage capacity should be used to support the load throughout the job. This will extend the life of the jack, but more importantly, keep the service tech out of harm's way. Please contact an ESCO customer service representative to see which jack and jack stands best fit your needs.